Guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up a throttle curve on your nitro plane. Now, what I mean by this is, is that when you give it gas, it'll still be idling, but it won't cut out. What throttle cut does, is it completely coats the engine. We just want it to run and not do anything when I hit that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, is going to be in throttle curve. So you want to hit this button, and then you want to go down until you see throttle and you want to go down to your seat throttle curve. You hit throttle curve, and you see this is the curve I already set up, and you may have it as inhibit, so just turn it on and put it on a switch that you like. I like to have mine on switch A back here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is this is what your stock curve will look like. This is what I set up for my plane. I get the best performance out of it. Uh, you can use a stock one if you want. It doesn't really matter, but what we really care about is the first thing you have to do is you have to go over to curve zero or curve two. Any curve but the one that was already set up. You go on that, and it'll automatically be a straight line going up like this. So the first thing you have to do, usually this would be at zero percent and that would be at twenty-five percent. You can and you know you can see of how the line would go straight up. So, so it's set all of this at zero. And then let's be sure to assign it to a switch. I assign this to switch position zero on switch A. It's my favorite. Now we go back over to one. That's on one. And now you're good to go. And I'll show an example. Let me turn my plane on. Okay. So what we do, this is, I programmed it, so I have callouts. Okay, so safety switch is off. So right now you can do all of this stuff, all right? But if I flick this switch to make it so it goes into the other mode, it inhibits it, so I do this, it does nothing. But just to prove that the throttle cut's different, I hit throttle cut. You can hear the servo moving. So that's how you set it up. I do this on all my uh, nitro and uh, uh, gas plants, which is in here at the moment. Uh, and yeah, that's how you set it up. I hope this uh, helped you out. And if you want to set up the custom voice setup, which is what I love most about Spectrum, one of the things, what I set up as kind of difficult to find, sit, you go on to, you find the position, I want it position zero being inhibit, so the throttle doesn't do anything when I move it. And the safety switch off, uh, I, I set that up because it's really the closest thing I could find. Find something better, let me know in the comment section. But this seems like it'll work pretty well, so you won't have any issues with you accidentally hitting this by a lanyard, which is what I do, and you go, oh, and it plows into your leg, which has happened at my club before. It's not fun. But make sure that you set up the throttle cut separate from that. You can't have, uh, you, uh, this isn't a replacement for the throttle cut. Unlo I mean, what thing you can do is you can tri is what some people do with older radios. They put this down all the way down to the lowest trim setting, and it eventually stalls it and shuts it off. But that takes, you know, probably five seconds to do. But what if it's an emergency, you know? Oh, my what else? Some little kid's walking up, which happens. And you flick the switch and it cuts so no one gets injured. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and I'll get back to you. Thanks.